Welcome to this week's Late Parsha Show, Parshas Vayera. Or as I said when I was jogging with my friend named Simcha. Welcome to the Parsha Show, Parshas Vayera. Yeah. Simcha, say hi to everyone. Hey. Don't ask. Alrighty, with the help of the Almighty, I'm gonna recite this verse. I know, recite That's That's really, I should not have rhymed that. But I did it anyway. What are we gonna do? The first verse of this week's Torah portion tells us how God appeared to Abraham outside his tent. Last week's Torah portion came to a close with God Almighty tying a close bond and sealing his eternal covenant with Abraham by giving him the mitzvah of circumcision. Mila. Bris Mila. Insert bris joke here. No, don't. No, really, I don't think something as serious, holy, and special as the mitzvah of circumcision should be joked about. Speaking of a special mitzvah, this week's Torah portion opens with God doing a mitzvah. It was the third day from Avram's circumcision and God himself came to visit him. Fulfilling the commandment, he commanded us to visit those who are not well. Avram, our forefather, was a loving person. In Hasidic teaching, Avram connotes love and kindness. Other than serving God out of love, Avram loved people. He loved giving, hosting guests, lodging wayfarers. That's how you pronounce that word. I always have a word in these videos that I don't know how to pronounce. Feeding backpackers and giving them a place to rest actually provided Avram with a unique opportunity to spread and teach monotheism. Telling everyone he encountered and hosted the ultimate truth of the one God who created everything. Okay, so back to the Parsha. The Torah makes a point of telling us the weather conditions that day, and Rashi explains that God took the sun out of its sheath to make it unbearably hot so people wouldn't go outside, so that the righteous Abraham shouldn't be bothered with passerby and can rather relax. I mean, he did just have his circumcision and was 99 years old. Avraham, however, really wanted guests. He wasn't able to relax. It pained him that he wasn't helping people. So God sent three angels in the form of men to be Avraham's guests. Whoa, hold up. Did God's plan go south? I mean, God thought that he wouldn't trouble Abraham and he'd let him relax, but then he saw that Abraham was troubled, so he sent guests. But God is God. Like, what did... So his plan didn't work, and he was like, oh, okay, plan B. Just want to say there's many questions like this all over Torah, and they all have answers. And I don't know them, so don't ask me. The answer lies in how this week's Parsha started. God appearing to Avraham. Obviously, God's plan worked. Avraham's giving nature and generous spirit was stimulated when he knew of someone in need. So with the absence of guests, God's plan did work out and Avraham was able to rest. But the moment Avraham saw godliness, Avraham saw the most powerful thing ever. God's love, God's kindness, sustaining the world and giving it life every moment. This revelation totally took him over and gave him a strong, fiery passion to give, give, give. And that's why God let these angels be Avraham's guests. <laughs>